Hi, so it looks like you're looking for some information on how to avoid probate. Yay, congratulations. I applaud you for planning for the future. Today, I'm gonna to give you two easy options how to protect your real estate from going through probate for your loved ones left behind. That's what I'm gonna talk about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Silicon Valley in Northern California. I specialize in selling homes that are in trust and in probate and when seniors need to downsize. So today I'm going to talk to you about planning ahead, planning for the future, how to protect your assets so they don't go through the drawn out, expensive, lengthy, emotionally tiring process of probate for the ones you're going to leave behind. So I want to give you two simple ways to do that. And I'm going to focus on the perspective of protecting your real estate assets. My first option is a living trust. This is a fantastic option. I tell people, think of it as, you know, having a warehouse that you put your house in, your cars, your bank accounts, your stocks and bonds and artwork and collections and anything you own of value. And you put it all in a warehouse. So when you pass away, your family just opens the key to that warehouse and there it all is. Easy, right? Right? That's what we're doing with the Living Trust. And they don't have to be super expensive. I actually know some attorneys and people that will help set it up for under $1,000 if you have a very simple, straightforward estate. And I also know some very experienced attorneys that know how to set up very complicated estates with a lot of moving parts. They can be a little pricier, you know, upwards of three, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. If you have a complicated estate, I think that would be a small price to pay for your loved ones. So again, living trust, my number one way to avoid probate. My second option has to do with your, the title of your property, how you hold the title. And there's two easy ways to hold title that will ensure your property just goes to the person that you own it with on title. One is joint tenancy with a right of survivorship. And number two is community property with a right of survivorship. Both those titles are great in the state of California and whoever you own the title and both your names, it goes, the house will go right to them. Avoid probate, easy peasy. So if you have more questions about how to protect maybe your bank accounts, your cars, other ways, you don't want to do a living trust, I don't really know why, but if you wouldn't want to, there are other tips I could give. Feel free to comment below, email, text me, call me. I'd be happy to share some other options, but today I just want to give you two simple ways. If you need a referral for an attorney, uh, please again, don't hesitate to reach out. So again, I'm Annie Baker. I'm here in beautiful Silicon Valley and I'm here to be of service. Let me help you. So until next time, get out there and live because every day counts. Time, have a great one.